say the statements, you can work on that, and you can share the statements with me, and initially we'll see what sort of messages we can, I can post on my page. Secondly, about Umnur, um, I really don't know uh, what sort of message she has been given uh, to the Jamaat, and secondly, um, what messages Abu has been given to the Jamaat, and I have no clue. And you mentioned about the dollars coming to Pakistan, I have no clue how, how much money came, because Abu never shared anything with us. All I know is I've been pushing job, I've, I've been working practically for the last 25 years, I'm, I'm on my own. And uh, as far as the financial support is concerned, we never got any financial support practically from our father. It was like, just like he used to, he would treat us like as giving money to us was like a favor from him to us. So all the luxuries of life uh, were enjoyed by previously Um Fatma and then now Um Noor. So we, our three brothers, we're just hanging in the middle with practically nothing. And even in, in, in the inheritance, we are left with nothing. So this is what I'm gonna, this is what, from my side, regarding the question you asked. So you can share the scripts, of, um, things we, which I can post, I'll see, and then uh, we'll see what we can post and, and how we go about it. Um, as far as your question regarding the support from the family and the Abu Zul Talib in Pakistan, they kind of willing to support me to be the male head of the Jamaat. But the thing is that in, in Abu's life, Abu nominated Umnur to head the Jamaat. Now, there comes the thing that I personally just cannot go against it. Uh, even my brothers, because right now what has, has happened, my father has um, uh, give all the property in name of Umnur. So now if you want anything property from her, so we have to deal with her. We cannot just be, just, you can say, uh, tell her that this guy can be her taking over the Jamaat, thing like that, because right now she's holding all the property in her hand and we have to get the property transferred and we have to have that, uh, you can say, uh, trust with her in order to get our share of property and other matters to be resolved, which are still um, pending. So the situation is quite different here and what we are dealing with and we have to be very careful with that, how we go about it. We cannot be very open, we cannot be very, uh, you can say, silent about it. So we have to amicably handle the situation. But my tend to be, uh, what I'm so far understood, that we have to be persistent, persistent about it. We'll go, uh, you can say, at not a very fast pace, but we will see. My, um, one more thing, thing I was thinking about, that uh, sooner or later, after three months or five months or six months, I intend to come to the United States. And there I'll get to meet everyone with them, uh, you can see TMA uh, officials and everything. So that is that if I come to America with them, with, through the UMNOR thing and with the confidence of the management of TMA, TMO, so that will be a different thing. So let's see, uh, just, just, just a plan, you can also suggest, uh, add your idea in this. So let's see how we, we can plan these things out.